Today will be an eventful day. I'm going to install a Skunk 2 lowering spring kit. Uh, I got off eBay for $170. They, uh, they lower the front two and a half and lower the back two inches. So this will be the view I do when I'm done to show you the difference. I'm also going to install all new struts all the way around. So this video is kind of a combination of two. I'm going to show you how to lower it and show you how to install new struts and the processes it takes. All right, here's uh, the lowering springs and the struts. Basically, what I have to do is pull the old ones off and then put these on. The only thing I really have to reuse is the, uh, I guess you call them the caps, the part that goes here that holds the spring on all of them. I think that's pretty much all I have to reuse, hopefully. I was going to mention that I got these, uh, this whole set of four, all these shocks for, I think it was like $130 on eBay. I got all this on eBay. So I spent, let's see, right around $300 plus or minus $20, but uh, that's pretty much all of it right there. Well, of course, step one is basically jacking it up and pulling the front wheels off. Uh, well, when you start with the front. As you can see, that's not an oil leak. <laughs> that's my shock blown. Uh, yes, yeah, you can see it's like leaking right here really wet it's not coming from the engine good lord this also will be my first time I've ever attempting to change a strut so this is gonna be new to me as it is to you if you haven't done it before so obviously if you're watching this video you you need some kind of pointer <clears throat> so I know I know for a fact that, oh, to take this loose which is not that big a deal these two bolts, so you probably can't see that one, but uh, these two bolts loose, that loose, you got because that's your uh, tie rod, and then there's three bolts at the top, which I'll show you next. It'd be these three bolts right here, one, two, three, and then once you get it all loose, I know there's an Allen wrench inside this hole, which I'll tell you the size as soon as I figure it out, and then you gotta put an Allen wrench in here and then loosen this. This is my. Uh, my trusty spring squisher set. I got these from Harbor Freight Tools for $14 and uh, hopefully it'll work <laughs> but uh, we'll find out how cheap it is so yeah you will see and here we go with the first bolt removal so far you gotta love air tools Damn. now I have camber issues <laughs> all right just for common knowledge uh, the bolts that were in there 19 19 this one you got to take off here holds the brake line is a 12 that one's easy well that one wasn't so bad it wouldn't as tense as I thought it was. I just pushed it out once I stopped recording. <laughs> 30 years pull that out. Come on. Here we go. And that's loose. That's loose. Right there. Let's see. You gotta take this off. That's a 10. I can tell by looking at it. Which I got one right here. This would be the ABS sensor wire. What I see at least. Looks like it. That's loose as a goose. Now, I gotta figure this one out. That one is a 17. Tie rod, that is. Oh, goodness me. Always replace your card key when you take it out, too. These card keys are cutie. Man, I don't even have the. I thought it had the little castle nut, but it does not. Yeah, where's that card key? This is how thin it was. Oh my, look at that thin motherfucker. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna replace that. Now I gotta bust that loose. Alright, so now I got one of these boogers. Hopefully this works. The last time I used it, it didn't. On my other truck. Because it was so weak. Alright, let's see how this works. 
please work. All right, after beating the hell out of it, I got it loose. Okay, now it's to the top and take the three bolts out. All right, once you get the, those loose, Remove. <laughs> Further examination of this shock, you could tell it is blown out of its mind. This thing has leaked all the fluid out of it. <laughs> and it's just like, it's coming out of here. And, or here, or somewhere around in this area. And then just pouring down it. So I bet you the other front one looks like that too. All right, now, 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 you got to remove this. This piece here. That's the bearing which pivots the thing for steering and everything. You gotta have this to put on your new shocks. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove this. All right, so I can't really figure out a good way to do these coils and squish them. Uh, they don't give me, I mean, there's only like two loops. And these stupid things, they only stop right there. I don't understand Harper Freight shit. I will get my money back. Uh, so. What I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to spring this thing loose, I don't give a damn. Uh, 17 and the, the Allen wrench inside, this one is a 6 millimeter. Ratcheting wrench is your friend here. Watch this thing spring. Well, I got a while. This may get interesting. So this is how you know it's bad. <laughs> There's no hardly any give at all. You know, that's bouncer right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Compared to the other one, yeah. This one's blown. Throw it to the trash pile. Well, I guess with these lower springs, you really, uh, once you get everything put back together and you get the springs set where they go in their holes. These springs, I guess you can just, oh shit, hold on. <laughs> you just do that and put the nut on it and you'll be done. You don't have to squish them. That makes me happy. Okay. Now, make sure everything's in the right spot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you just tighten that booger up. Then you just tighten it down all the way till it bottoms out. <clears throat> Man, I can't wait to see the ride it's gonna be now. There's the end. <clears throat> Got all that. Deep. Now it's time to shove it back in. Yeah, good deal. That still turns. When you put this together, make sure that that turns freely and comfortably because that's your steering. If that doesn't turn, that's bad. Alright. <clears throat> so I thought a little something before before you remove this or even loosen these bolts, get everything down there loose, whatever, but take this loose right now while it's held up on something because that will make it a whole lot easier than fighting it laying on the ground. Well this beach is the driver's side one. Yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> no 
Oh man, this is bad. I can't wait to see the back ones now. So I guess you'd call this the moment of truth for the front only. Have you seen how it was before when I started? Let's see if I can get this jack to work. Drag it. Let's see the difference. I'm sure after a uh, a few uh, of driving down my road, we'll make that thing probably tuck wheel. Now it's time to start on the back. All right, that's how much gap I have right now. And when I'm done with this, you already seen the front done. When I'm done with this one, I'm going to take it down the road and come back and see if I can knock a few more inches out of it. <laughs> As you know, step one: remove the wheel. Okay, so what I can see on the back here. They don't look long, but I'm going to change them anyway. Uh, you just take this bolt loose. The uh, the nut on this side is pretty much welded on, so you really don't have to do anything. You just take that bolt loose, and that's pretty much loose for this. Then you got to go up top in the trunk, and that's my next process I'll show you. That bolt is a 17 millimeter. Okay, I mentioned before that you need to be in the trunk. You really don't, but I mean, open it up to see. There's the shock right there. And you see it. <laughs> so it's actually kind of easier doing it from the back seat. Well, I hope at least. Uh, I see two bolts that I can get to from the back seat a whole lot easier. But uh, I'm going to get this crap out of the way to get to it. And for the record, they are 14s. I'm going to take them loose. All right, let's pearl her out. <sighs> see how you got to. Just like that. There it is, Mr. Strut. Okay, for the record, it's a 14 millimeter nut. That is a 3 16 hole. It's got a little slack to it, but it works. But I'm just gonna let it spring apart. Let's see if I can blow out a window. So from what I can tell, the uh, the two back ones are exactly the same. Springs and shocks, they're all the same. Both the same. <clears throat> so when I took that apart, I thought it was going to explode, but it didn't. It barely did anything. So now it's time to put this one together. All right, so this is. Uh, I had to do it before I showed you, so I knew. You got your bump stop there. And since I'm lowering it two inches, I really feel like I should cut two inches off this. Just leave this part. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh. Be done with it. <clears throat> so, there's a lower and buff stuff. How about that? Well, crap. I'm going to use this part. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this end off. About bump stops anyway. There, that's where that goes. Alright. Then put your spring on, make sure those line up. Right. And then you got all this crap. So it's, it's got the spot in there where the spring was. Pay attention. Put that right back where it was. Make sure it's on there. Yeah. There you go. Then you put oh, oh, oh. bump stop keeper or whatever that is. That goes on there, stops. Put that over it. And then, and then. Put this on top. Somehow. Drag it. All right, dammit. There you go. Line that up. All right. So since they're lowering springs and that thing being a two inch higher spring than this one, uh, barely even came apart. Really, all you gotta do is this. Start the nut. It wasn't hard at all, actually. <laughs> and then, you tighten the crap out of it. Now it's time for installation. Alright. Yeah, how bad I can make it. Those holes 
on here. Oh shit, really? <laughs> Once you get that bolt on there, good lord, that took forever. But uh, once you get that bolt on there, then move to the trunk. And of course, you know this. That nose. You can't really see the other one, but it's like directly across from it. <laughs> got everything installed and done. Now it's time to unjack it. Well, we took it around the block aggressively, like off-road like, and it got a little bit lower. That would be the owner of the vehicle, and she's happy. I just want to make a real quick point. I started this at 9.30 this morning. It is now 11.30. That, uh, that is including making this video and taking it around the block, okay? So... I've never done this before on this car. Everything was new to me. I do have a little bit of experience about lowering a vehicle though, as you can tell, a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, doing the, uh, the control arm bushings was more difficult than this. Oh, man, that was bad. <laughs> but anyway, the hardest part I found was actually doing the, uh, breaking the, uh, the tie rods loose from it other than that everything was perfect and i mean it's just loosening bolts and retighten them basically 